Greetings to you, the incoming class of Gordon College, the class of 2024. My name is Dr. John Tamilio III. I am one of the professors who teach the Great Conversation, or TGC as it is often called, here at Gordon. I want to provide you with a brief video lecture on Christian liberal arts. This is something that we're going to talk about again and again in this course. It's part of Unit 1, and it's really part of your entire education here at Gordon College. Now, these three words, Christian liberal arts, are often divided into two different concepts or camps. There's the word Christian and the term liberal arts. They both describe a type of education that one can receive. In other words, you can attain a Christian education or a liberal arts education. Liberal arts colleges abound. You may have applied to several of them, to several secular liberal arts colleges during your senior year of high school. You chose, however, to attend a Christian liberal arts school, Gordon College. Is there a difference between the two? Is there a difference between the Christian liberal arts and the liberal arts all on its own? Now the readings that we will tackle during the first unit of TGC unpack this question nicely. The first word that we used here, Christian, is obvious. Ideally, we all know what it means. To be a Christian means that you have not only accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, but you have dedicated your life to following his teachings and his example. You have also accepted the forgiveness of sins that Jesus offers and the new life that Christ provides to all of his followers, past, present, and future. You are essentially part of what the writer of the letter to the Hebrews calls the great cloud of witnesses, all Christians from all time. You are part of that. Now, a Christian education would be one in which you study not only the scriptures, but the history surrounding the Bible and the history of the church that was to follow the New Testament era. It also means being immersed in theology, studying the core doctrines of the faith from creation to consummation, to understand how those doctrines inform our belief and our practices. Liberal arts education is one in which you typically major in a particular area, but you take classes in a host of different areas, English, math, psychology, philosophy, and the sciences. The idea is for you, the student, to gain a well-rounded education. And lots of people earn their bachelor's degrees at such colleges in such liberal arts programs across the country, across the world for that matter. A Christian liberal arts education is one in which you study all of this. In other words, you study scripture, theology, church history, but you also study courses ranging from biology to sociology. Why? Why not just study the fundamentals of our faith? Each one of you has been called, called to a ministry, to look at your spiritual gifts and use them for a greater purpose. And yes, as a Christian, everything that is part of your life, work and play and everything in between, is part of that ministry. It is not just pastors and missionaries and Christian educators who are quote unquote called all Christians are called. You need to ask yourself, how is what I am studying here at Gordon College going to be used to build the corner of God's kingdom in which I live and love, work and play? How will you, how will you be serving God in the service of others when you complete your degree and venture into the workforce? The article by Cornelius Plantinga Jr. entitled Educating for Shalom, Our Calling as a Christian College, 
is one that you should refer to time and time again throughout your undergraduate studies. It defines what I'm trying to say and it does it much more succinctly. In this piece, Plantinga refers to C.S. Lewis, who once talked about how we are trying to retake territory that has been captured by the enemy. Plantinga writes, we are trying to recapture society, culture, and all of creation for Jesus Christ. We will need the right attitudes for this recapturing program, including the attitude of delight. A well-rounded education will expose us to that delight, to the beauty of God's creation as we study it at the micro and the macro levels. If we look at creation and the perfect order that God has made, that God imbued creation with, you know, we can understand that by looking at the scriptures, but also by studying mathematics and biology. An appreciation for the emotions and the feelings that God has given us, that can be discerned through prayer and spiritual practices, but also ascertained through reading poetry and studying art history. How we are to best use the fiscal gifts that God has bestowed upon us, this can be gleaned through studying Christian stewardship, but it can also be understood through studying business and economics. The list is endless. The two go together. Christian studies, liberal arts studies. They're part of a whole cloth. They are holistic and holy. In the end, you're going to engage in what David Tracy calls mutual critical correlation. You are taking life as you know it and will come to know it over the next four years of your education. You're taking life as you know it and you're placing it in conversation with the Christian tradition. This is what the discipline known as practical theology is all about. And the end goal is for you as a doctor, a teacher, a lawyer, an accountant, a computer programmer, a CEO, a physical therapist, whatever it is you end up doing, the goal is for you to see the interconnectedness of all knowledge and to use that understanding to witness to the gospel to believers and unbelievers alike. Only a Christian liberal arts education will prepare you for both. And at Gordon College, you will experience such learning at its highest caliber. Welcome to Gordon College. Welcome to the great conversation. Welcome to the journey of a lifetime.